Alexander Valley Cabernet Sauvignon for just $10. But is it any good? Let's find out. Hello and welcome to the Wine Turtle YouTube channel. My name's Jamie and I'll be your host as we taste and review popular wines from around the world and explore the grapes and the winemaking techniques that make them special. Today I'm back at Costco with another Kirkland Signature Wine. This is the 2020 Alexander Valley Cabernet Sauvignon. It costs just $10 and it's aged in a combination of French and American oak. Now, Alexander Valley is a Californian American viticultural area in Sonoma County. It contains around 15,000 acres of vineyards, making it the largest and the most fully planted wine region in Sonoma County. The warm climate here lends itself to ripe, fleshy Cabernet Sauvignon, and the alluvian soils are known to impart rich, chocolatey notes to Cabernet. So, let's find out if this ridiculously cheap wine delivers. It's a medium to... A medium to dark ruby. It's not as inky looking as a lot of Cabernet Sauvignon can be. It looks a lot lighter in body, actually. Right, let's have a sniff. It's a very juicy nose full of ripe, dark fruit. There's black cherry and plum and a little bit of blackcurrant. The oak influence is there in the way of vanilla and a little bit of leather. Very fruity wine. Starts off, starts off very soft in the mouth, and then a little bit more acidity than I'm used to in a cab comes through with a bit of a hit of alcohol. Fourteen percent ABV, but it's um, it's got a bit of a punch. Yeah, it starts off soft and then really comes to life when that alcohol and the acidity take hold. Tannins are what you'd expect, medium tannin, um, quite nicely integrated into the wine. It doesn't uh, dry the sides of your mouth, it's not, they're not that strong in, in tannin. Um, quite a nice structure, you might say a little bit too acidic, might not please some people. Flavour wise, the fruit from the nose comes through, a very fruit forward wine, black cherry, blackcurrant plum from the nose with a little bit of vanilla a little bit of bacon spice um, the bacon spice comes and goes quite quickly the finish it becomes slightly sweet it's um, a, a dry Cabernet Sauvignon but it's a little bit more residual sugar I think in there than than what's um, typical it's nice though, a very pleasant wine, slightly jammy on the palate, you don't really get so much of that jammy fruit on the nose, definitely comes through in the palate, and yeah, it's not a soft wine this, it's, um, it's got a bit of a, bit of a kick to it, yeah, um, not for the faint of heart, but enjoyable nonetheless. It's a bit of a strange one this, it's a $10 wine, which is really really cheap there's there's not much cheaper than that to be honest but these wines Cabernet Sauvignon especially at this price point is usually very soft and gentle approachable and crowd pleasing you know it's um, usually slightly sweet and it's just built for the masses this wine isn't like that at all it's fairly rough around the edges it's um, it's quite acidic fairly tannic and it's got a bit of a, an alcohol 
kick to it as well. It's really not for the faint of heart. Um, it's not badly made. It's just, um, yeah, just a different style of, uh, of Cabernet Sauvignon. It does have a little bit of sweetness there, a, a bit more than I typically like. Not sweet by any means. But um, yeah, it's quite a nice wine though. It's, it's fruit forward, so you get that big um, kick of fruit, juicy dark fruit. Um, a little bit of oak influence there, very subtle with the oak. And it, yeah, it starts off that lovely fruit and then the structure of the wine takes hold and acidity comes in in a big way, tannins take hold. And um, yeah, you get that little uh, little kick of alcohol, and it finishes a little bit sweet, a little bit sweet for my liking. Um, but yeah, it's a nice wine. Maybe needs a little bit of a longer decant um, just to bring it all together. It feels just a a little bit disjointed, perhaps. Um, perhaps a bit more time in the bottle. Perhaps a bit more air. Um, but a score, I'm going to go with 7 out of 10. It's it's nice the way it is. It's a pleasant wine. Um, definitely some areas to improve. But um, I, yeah, I've, I've enjoyed drinking it. I will finish the rest of the bottle at some point. Um, I'll get back to you, see if it does change in any way over the next 24, 48 hours. But 7 out of 10. A solid wine this $10 dirt cheap it's worth picking up 